So Jesus uh, says, if you just love those who love you, big whoop. <laughs> uh, I remember years ago I was uh, walking to the office from my house to for our first street office, and all of a sudden I heard this big yelling, bellowing, love you, g Dog!" And I turn around and I see this guy, Junior, who's hanging out of the window and he doesn't have a shirt on, and he's... I think he may have had a 40 ounce for breakfast. And, uh, and I say, hey, Junior, thank you. Well, that was a very nice thing to say. And he goes, come on, G, you know, you're in my jurisdiction. <laughs> it was an odd thing to say. And, uh, but it made me think about it. You know, we have jurisdictions, we have neighborhoods. People talk that way. He's from my neighborhood. She's not from my neighborhood. We have boundaries, we have territories, you know. And uh, it's about wandering into other people's vicinities and allowing them into your jurisdiction. Years ago, uh, it was, uh, I think it was in 1916 East First Street, um, Gus Mojica was at the uh, front desk and we had our intercom system. Beep! Yeah. Magoo is here. Do you want to see him? And I looked up, and there was this guy, Magoo, who had uh, just got out of prison after 10 years. And I'll admit it, my heart kind of went to the basement. Um, we were never kind of in each other's vicinity or jurisdiction too much, you know. We didn't get along so famously. I remember when he was 15 years old, he was doing community service at Dolores Mission. And once he got in my mascara and said, I don't have to do what you say. Like, I see they got you. <laughs> About three years later, I was preaching at his homeboy Hector's funeral, and I'm standing up there, and I said, you know, if you love Hector and you want to honor him, love your enemies. Right in the middle of my homily, he gets up, walks straight down the aisle, stands right in front of me, mad dogs my ass, and walks out of the church. About three years later, I'm riding my bike in Aliso Village, and I see a big bola of homies, and I and, and clearly somebody's fighting in the middle of the bola, and I throw the bike down, I break through the crowd. It's two homies from this neighborhood fighting uh, over a female, I find out later. One of them is Magoo, and I break up the fight, and this pisses him off, so he reaches into the front of his pants, and he has a gun, and he starts waving the gun wildly. And all the homies say, damn, Dog, put the gun away. Don't disrespect G like that. And then he aims the gun right at my head and he says, I'll shoot his ass too. Are you getting a sense of kind of what our relationship is like? <laughs> and Gus Mojica saying, uh, G, it's Magoo. Are you sure you want to see him? I said, of course. So he comes in. He gives me a hug. I've known him for 20 years. He sits down. He says, look. Let's just talk man to man. <laughs> Look, I've never disrespected you. <laughs> well, I think to myself, I'm going to go for it. You know, I said, well, how about, you know, when you're doing community service at the Lord's Mission? How about the time you walked out in the middle of my homily at Hector's funeral? How about the time you pulled a cuete out on me? <laughs> he looks and he thinks and he says, yeah, but besides that. <laughs> and then he gets up, and I've never seen him do in all the 20 years I knew him. He, he really, truly laughed. He laughed so damn hard. And so did I. I remember I folded my arms on the front of my desk, and I'd leave my head down. We were howling with him. And when the laughter subsides, he says, uh, you know, I have spent 25 years of my life trying to build a reputation for myself. And now I regret I even have one. And then he does something I've never seen him do in his life. He cried, and I mean really truly cried, and now it was his turn to rest his head on his folded arms at the front of my desk. And he, he just wept for a very long time. And when he could speak, he said, now what do I do? I know how to shank fools in prison. I know how to sell drugs. I know how to drive. I don't know how to park. <laughs> and I only know how to wash my clothes in the sink of a cell. 
Now what do I do? So he began work the next day at Homeboy, but I realized that I had never really ever let him into my vicinity, and I had never really truly wandered into his jurisdiction. And if you just love those who love you, big whoop. Amen.